Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, today's lesson is going to be about changing scenes in Anime Studio or Moho Pro 12, or older versions of Anime Studio. Um, so I've done this before, but I just wanted to give a simpler explanation of how you can do this. So let's say you're creating a scene. I'll go ahead and use assets that are already in the program. So I'm gonna go ahead and import uh, a background and I'll use like the cafe. I'll go ahead and import that. Oops, let's make sure we do it on frame zero. So here's, here's the scene that we have. Then we wanna import some characters. So I'll go ahead and import characters. We'll go ahead and do Bigsby the rabbit. And there he is. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take the animation out real quick just so we can have the character standing there. So I'll go ahead and resize him to fit the scene. Pretty little dude. And then let's go ahead and import another character that he might be interacting with. We'll go to import character. Let's do uh, render the robot. Go ahead and import him. I'll go ahead and clear the animation again. I'll flip him, resize him. And there's ready to animate. So there's there's our scene right there. So there's there's different ways you can do uh, changing changing a scene, but I prefer to use groups. So I'm going to go ahead and go to create new layer, create new group, and call this scene one. And then I'm going to select render or all of my assets or my layers that I want in that scene. I'll hold shift down and go down to cafe so it selects all three of them, render, Bigsby, and cafe. And left click and drag into that folder. So now they're all in that group. So if I hide that group, they just disappear because they're, or if I move them, they're all as one because they're in that folder together. So we can go ahead and start animating and um, you know, just start doing what we need to and then create another scene. So I'll go ahead and create another folder. And I'll call this scene two. Oops, not scene three, scene two. And let's go ahead and move scene one out of the way for a second. And we're still on frame zero. Let's go ahead and import a new background. So we'll go to scenes, backgrounds, and let's do moonscape. Click OK. So now we've got the moonscape. Let me stretch that out so it fills the window. And let me go ahead and add, it doesn't have a background for the sky, so I'm gonna use rectangle. Go ahead and draw a background. There we go. So we have the moonscape. Let's go ahead and import a character. So we'll go to characters and let's import the space woman. Hit OK. And let's take that animation out, clear animation. So this is our second scene. And we'll do the same exact thing. I'm going to grab the space woman and the moonscape, the background and left click and drag that into scene two. So same exact thing. If I hide it, everything in that group is hidden. If I move the group folder, it moves everything with it as well. So now it's really easy to switch scenes because we can move the entire folder. So let's start off with uh, scene one. Go over here, put that in the window or the canvas we can come in and we can do our animations. Um, you can grab the characters, start doing what you need to do, and just do some animation. And then you want to say you want to switch to the second scene. We'll go to, let's say we want to switch on frame 96. So on frame 96, we're gonna cl uh, click on the folder, the scene folder. So I'll click, make sure that's selected, and then with the transform layer tool, I'm going to just click anywhere on the canvas. That creates a position keyframe for our scene. 
and then we'll go over one frame and move it out of the way so it's no longer within the window so that gets moved and then we're just going to do the same thing the opposite for uh, scene two not the opposite uh, but we're going to move it into frame so we need to select scene two and we still have the transform layer tool selected so we'll click on that that creates a start frame and then we'll move one frame over in the timeline and move that into position so we can go to our second scene so in our timeline we have an animation blah 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 they're talking then it switches over to the space woman scene and we can do the exact thing again just to switch back and forth so let's say 144 I'll click to create a start keyframe, move one over, one frame over, move it out of the way, anywhere, doesn't matter as long as it's out of the scene. Go back one, select scene one, click on that so it makes a start keyframe, and then move one over, one frame, and move that back into position, like that. So I go back and forth. And the other thing, well, you don't even have to do that. We, let's go ahead and just copy and paste. So here's our first transition from scene one to two. Let's go ahead and grab those two keyframes and hit Command C, then go to 144, paste, Command V. And we're just gonna switch the keyframe position. So we're gonna move this one over to the left, move it over so it starts at 144. Let's do the same thing for scene two. Grab that keyframe, copy, get rid of this. Um, copy, go to 144, paste, move that keyframe over and back. And that's just a way to make sure that um, we're getting the exact same position that we did at the very beginning. So it's not off. You don't even have to guess. It's just in the right place like that. So yeah, really simple, really easy uh, thing to do. Um, and that's it. That's the way that I would do, uh, or change scene, scenes, I should say, for Anime Studio or Moho. Thanks for watching.